we move on to react to Pochettino rever revealing a target um, for the USMNT at the World Cup. So obviously he had the press conference with the uh, US Federation uh, a day or so after he was officially announced through US soccer um, social media. They announced it officially. But um, but then he had his press conference and what we didn't see is later on after that press conference, Gary Neville happened to be at that press conference and you know part of this new addition that they're adding to the overlap where it's, they're, it's basically overlap, it's called soccer, like an American version. They, um, they you know, he um, interviewed him as well. It was part of a clip actually of a greater interview where they were Gar him and Jamie Garriger were interviewing Emma Hayes and then they put in, they inserted this clip in with, um, you know, any, you know, Pochettino, you know, he revealed, which is, you know, I guess I'm not, I'm a little surprised that he was revealed this, but I guess when you're comfortable, when you're talking to someone in Gary Neville that he's been sort of used to in the English media, the, some sort of personal connection that must have been built with the amount of times that they've, you know, been in and around each other, you know, in, you know, Gary Neville has talked to him and asked him questions, interviewed him, all that. And maybe it put put him in a I guess in a comfortable position that he was willing to be you know more open and he um when he was this when it, when they were when he was asked about you know some of the targets he he was blunt with it straight up you know he said the truth is the quarterfinal is the target they were very clear and I am very honest to you and I think that was the idea the challenge they know that it's going to be difficult but I am a person and we are people that really really believe that we can. We all think that the talented group can perform better and we accept the challenge. Now, this is the USMNT that have progressed past the round of the 16 um, only twice in their history. Um, they, you know, in the opening tournament going back to 1930. And this is, by the way, when the World Cup campaign was went straight to semifinal. You know, there was no round of 16 quarterfinals. You know, only four teams made it to the NACA stage. In that edition, in the 1930 um, World Cup, they um, they actually um, they actually went to uh, went on to finish fourth at that World Cup. Um, so um, so uh, obviously. Um, Obviously now, no, 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 they finished third. They beat Yugoslavia in the third place game. Sorry, I needed to correct that. They finished third at the World Cup. And um, that's their highest ever finish. But to be honest, that's you know, 1930. But um, uh, other than that, uh, besides that one World Cup, the other the la other time that they made it past around the 16 was actually in 2002, where they lost to Germany 1-0. Very controversial game, as we all know. Um, but they lost at the end of the day to Germany 1-0, and that's their highest uh, ever finish that they've had, um, apart from that 1930 asterisk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's obviously, um, it's, uh, it's very sh blunt and straightforward, which I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that from Pochettino and I appreciate him being honest and I think the expectation of saying the quarterfinals is fair um, yes I do think it's fair but I do think at the same time you know and I'm you know we know you know and I don't like I don't want to sound like a broken record but this team does have you know compared to the players compared to the players of the past this team does have you know, a little bit more quality in terms of players playing in Europe, playing and starting for Europe te European teams in the top leagues. So there is talent amongst this team that hasn't been there in the past. Um, but these players don't have the mentality and the grit and the determination that teams in the past have. And that sort of desperation of playing for your badge and defending your country. This team doesn't quite have that, and it's something that can be developed, yes, but they don't have this right now. And maybe a home World Cup will sort of shock them into it. But, uh, 
but you know with the quality players you have you should expect you know the expectation should be the quarterfinal forgetting that the fact that it's home club you sh you know you should expect to take the next step as a national team to be better when than what we've been, done in the past so it is quarterfinal but the fact that you're playing this World Cup at home, I think should add uh, an extra, you know, you should, there should be an extra, uh, what's the word, an expectation to do above and beyond, to do one extra than just the quarterfinal. Because look, we're expecting them to reach the quarterfinal just based on the talent improvement that this team has faced over the last two decades or so. Um, so on with that and the combination that you're playing the home world cup i do think you should expect semi-final you should go one and above and yes that's that seems unreal and it is unrealistic to expect the u.s men's national team in a semi-final but shouldn't you aim high shouldn't the expectation be up there because if you're thinking about it logically let's say this world cup was played in brazil you know or whatever brazil hosted a world cup let's say this world cup was played in china the reasonable expectations for the USMNT will be the quarterfinals, even if it was on a neutral venue in China, because there has been an improvement in terms of players, in terms of talent. There has been an improvement um, in terms of the talent, so you got to expect better than what you've seen in the past. But on top of that, you're playing this at home, it adds a level to the expectations but you know at the end of the day Pochettino can't really come out and say the expectation is semi-final because that's a little that's a little rich that's a little rich that's a little that's a little bit too much of a high horse but um you know I think if he was said quarterfinal semi-final if he said something of that sort you know um I don't think it would have been something that would have been ran you know took it and ran away from from the media so uh, I do think, though, there should be an extra level of uh, expectations um, because the World Cup is being played at home. It's a, that's, a, that's a huge, huge advantage. And he spoke about it. He said that had a big t part of the reason why he accepted the job in the first place. That's just the reality of it. Having the World Cup at home is, is a huge, huge advantage and is a complete game changer. Um, and there's also another element to this. This is not the same World Cup in the past. There's 48 teams. So there is that extra knockout stage game. There will be a round of 32 game in this new format. So to reach the quarterfinal, you're going to have to win two knockout stage games. Now, albeit it's going to be a weaker round of 32 game, obviously, because, you know, a round of 32 game, you know, it's going to involve some of the weaker teams because in this current format right now, with the 32 teams that qualified for the World Cup, that would be the round of 32. So you could not, you're gonna face an easier opponent in that first knockout stage game. But the fact that you're having to play an extra knockout stage game as well, it's a, you know, it's still a difficult game, a one-off game playing against, you know, let's say the US, you know, let's say the US were playing Iran in the round of 32, like, you know, the US played Iran in the 2022 World Cup to get into the knockout stage. That'll be a very difficult knockout stage game, a difficult moment for them to reach the round of 16 where the, you know, where the big expectation is to win that game. So that is also something that should be taught about when you're making, you know, realistic target points for the USMNT at the World Cup. But, um, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm excited to see what Pochettino does with the USMNT. I'm so excited. Uh, I think we all as US, US soccer fans should be extremely excited.